In this video we are going to be building this really simple job board with the dot com and Airtable. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel below and follow us at No Code Devs. Check it out. So in my project, as you can see, I've got the job board page already and I've got a retro hero, which is this here, which was the top. It was us the hero of the job board. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to duplicate this, the um, retro hero. So that's duplicated. I'm going to delete some of the bits I don't need. So I just want basically this layout. I don't need the header. That can go, and what I don't need inside here. Right, so this is what this is what I need. So inside here, all you have to do is I've created a job board already in Airtable. Very simple job board, very straightforward. Need any advice for creating job boards in Airtable? Let me know. So I've created a job board. A lot of jobs open, jobs close. Now I want to share this. So you click on here, share view. You go to allow viewers to copy data out of this view. So that's completely up to you, obviously. So click on here. And you can even, if you upgrade, you can restrict it by password. You click embed. It comes here and it even shows you what it looks like underneath. So you can use card layout, just like that. And it shows you the mobile view as well, which is great. So this is the embed code. So you grab this, copy and paste. You go into here again. I'm going to my hero main. I'm going to element, go to my face, HTML, raw HTML, you copy that in there, stick that in there. Now, for some reason, it's not opening up so wide, so you can even change this in here. You can't change it in there, but you can change it on here, change it on there, so it's, so it's 700 pixels. No. Normally it's really good at fitting to the screen, but for some reason it's not enjoying it today. About 2000, there we go. I'll stick on there. What else you can do is you can when you're altering the code down here. What you can't do is you can't change the styling of the individual bits inside here, but you can change the styling of the border around it. So that's what I'm gonna do, so it's the border is 1px as you see, but the style I've got is 4px and it's black. There we go. And what I've also got as well is a box shadow. So it's a box shadow and I need to find my box shadow. Command NK, where's box shadow? There it is there. That's the styling I was after for box shadow. All races there. There. As you can see it's come out underneath here. And what I might do as well in here is add a heading. H1. Oh jobs. Drag it up here. There we go. So now on this job board, the page job board, I'll save that. So on the job board, the page job board. All I need to do is come in here, add in the block, and it's retro hero copy. And there we go. That is our job board. Jobs for. We'll deploy this. And there you go. That is our job board. You can. Which I really like about this is the user can click on it. It can open up the full page there, focusing on it. It can add filters, it can even hide sections of the locations, not really much there. You can group things together, you can sort things by the fields it wants, company name, you can even make it shorter, and that's what all the user is doing. You can even you can even download the CSV the user or view the larger version, which the larger version is just that. Really straightforward, really easy. What you can also do with Airtable, you can create a form. Create a new form, share this form as well. Auto size it, click on that. So if you want your users to be able to 
send your content and add content to your Airtable base, HTML, and add jobs, you could do it by using this form. There it is. There's the job form. And this job form will go instantly into your job page, to your Airtable page, so I'll deploy this. Now it looks a bit ugly as you can see there because I haven't done much style into it. Job, designer, uh, no code devs, really cool job, anywhere, field, full time, um, yep, closing date is tomorrow. Submit, yeah, thank you for submitting, and this will come up in my Airtable base. For new jobs, there it is. There it is. So, as you can see, you can create a with v.com as your front end and Airtable as your back end. You can create a job board really, really easily. So, I hope this has been helpful. Check out our other videos and start using v.com. It's really cool. Keep on building.